Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our uh, second lesson um, on OTHM Level 7, Extended Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership, uh, the module which we are doing, Strategic Marketing Lesson 2, which will cover LO2. My name is Anjum Sathar, and my email address, if you need me, please drop me email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So today's lesson, will go through LO2. LO2 is about what is LO2. LO2 is about learning outcome to be able to apply the tools for analyzing the business environment. What are the tools those are analyzing the environment? During lesson one, I mentioned a few tools as well. We not went through in detail because that was the learning outcome one. And now we'll go through learning outcome two where we'll discuss uh, Porter 5 forces, where we discuss about uh, SWOT, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. We'll go through political, economic, social, and technological pests are the pestle analysis. And uh, we'll go through BCG metrics. We'll go through unsoft metrics. We'll go through strategic planning, how we can an environmental impact. And we'll go through what type of strategies can be best, you know, in different types of, and we'll go discuss smart objectives. So all will be today lesson. So in LO2, we have uh, three assessment criteria, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, dwell smart strategic marketing objectives. So you have to dwell smart strategic objectives. Smart stand for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-defined objective. So critically review internal and competitive environment. So you have to review internal and external and com external meaning the competitive in environment. Draw a conclusion about internal stakeholders. What is meant by stakeholders? What are the internal stakeholders? What is meant by internal environment? All will be focused in our discussion today lesson. So before starting today lesson, let's recap what we learned during last lesson. So during last lesson, what we learned, uh, be able to critically analyze the principle of strategic marketing management. We discussed what is meant by strategic marketing management, discussed difference between selling and marketing, uh, and uh, we discussed uh, AM, American Marketing Association, CIM, Chartered Institute of Marketing definitions as well. And uh, today we'll go through. So during lesson one, we discussed, critically discussed the uh, purpose in strategic marketing. We discuss AIM's objective. We discuss analyze and application of marketing. We discuss about Philip Scotler definition and various other authors definitions as well. We, and the uh, explanation process of strategic role importance uh, those we discuss and different strategies we discussed during last lesson as well we discussed strategic analysis what is meant by today focus will be developing smart objective what is assessing and evaluating external environment how we can assess and evaluate external environment and assessing internal stakeholders so all this focus today lessons. Anybody, any questions? So please just, you know, these are three inductive contents we are going to cover to, as, uh, to address three learning outcomes. Okay, so let's, we'll start our second sentence, uh, which is, consists of LO2. During first lesson, we also discuss about marketing concept, social marketing, green marketing, pro, uh, production concept, product concept, and marketing concept itself as well. So today we're moving toward LO2. So first, what is meant by planning? Plan where we are now, where we want to see ourselves in future as a company. So is this, we discuss objective need to be smart smart objective so what really we want to be we want to increase 10 percent of our key shares by next 
12 months so that can be a smart objective so what we we have to measure it we have to achieve it is it realistic in the past our growth rate was eight nine so that can be 10 percent is uh can be realistic objective but need to really think about in terms of the economic growth in terms of um, uh, all other economic variables as well so we can make so strategic planning where we are where we want to see in future our company so adopting the firms take advantage of opportunities like mother care uh, presence in china and the chinese government removed protection on the second child uh, because in the past only the family was allowed to be one child no the second child they can be a two kids instead of one in in the past they have to pay 150 dollar a month to the government to be a second child so now we need to look around the strategic planning they have to be planned to adopt there are the opportunity more kids will be born of course mother care can sell more their products so we need to look around strategic objective how they want to be capture the opportunity which arrived due to the decision from the government strategic planning help the firm to maintain the strategic fit between the goals and capabilities goals what as an organization we want to be achieved we want to be get we want to be increase our uh, market share by 10 percent do we have a capability capability mean do we have a ability to do something do we have an infrastructure to serve do we have a infrastructure to produce more so to capture the opportunity in term of you know which is growing and we need to be look around these and we need to make sure you know so guys if you want to read more so please go through the these notes as well it's quite good to read every company should be fine the game plan in the long run survival and the growth that the mar makes the most sense to the given like in term of the brexit you know what is happening in term of the brexit so we need to make sure we have a marketing plan in place because what will be happen maybe the economic growth below so there may be for some company of course if the goods not coming from eu or eu goods becoming expensive so we can compete as a local farmer so we need to make sure our product is no and we'll try to be maximize our market shares you know that can be strategic planning we need to be as an organization so step one we need to be when we'll make the strategic plan what we need to do define the company mission why we are in the business what as a mission statement second you need to setting the company's objective and goal <clears throat> so we need to set the company's objective and goal objective mean the end result what really you want to achieve and the goal so the goal uh, our company goes to grow our company goals goals to be engaged more our company goals to be satisfied the uh, the needs and the wants of the customer so you need to look around designing the business portfolio portfolio how much product we have either we need to expand investment in those or divest like uh, Unilever, they have to be 500 brand. They reduce to 250 brand. So that's called, you know. So we need to look around business unit, product, and the market level planning and marketing and other functional strategies. We need to be focused. Anybody, any question up to now? Okay. Next, we're looking at the mission. Mission. So what is the mission? The statement of organization purpose what want to be accomplished in the larger environment market oriented define the term of the satisfying the basic customer emphasis the co company's strength and focus on the customer and the customer experience that the company seeks to create so we need to make sure a mission refer to the company purpose what they want to be accomplished in the larger environment of forging sound mission again with the uh, following question what is our business which business we are in we are the we are addressing the upper class middle class or the lower class who's our who's our customer or so we need to be make sure uh, and uh, we need to make sure uh, and how we can create the customer value what we are so all these you know the question we need to be asked from our customer to be addressed you know so we need to make sure we have a right
okay so need to make sure Okay, let's guide. Let's think about you know the mission statement of any company of your choice. Just think few minutes, and uh, we'll go through. Okay. So let's, you know, we'll discuss now. So, sorry, okay. So in terms of ASDA and uh, Tesco, so let's, we'll discuss about the Tesco and ASDA. ASDA's mission statement to be Britain best value retailer exceeding the customer needs always. And uh, it's the second largest UK retailer, 321 stores. No, even is more because that slide is slightly a bit older. So that's the second largest. And the Tesco is the first largest. Tesco is PLC is based in the United Kingdom. And the company mission statement, our core purpose to create value for customer to learn to earn their lifetime loyalty we deliver through our values and no one tries harder for the customer and treat people how like to be treated so that's the big statement so our our marketing objective our smart objective should be surrounding this because how we'll create the value for customer we need to always think we need to make an objective loyalty we can start the loyalty card we'll rule out throughout the world wherever we have a tesco presence and how will reward the test loyalty point what will be the loyalty bring to the company because we are investing money on the loyalty card we're giving the money back like you know in term of the watches in term of the discount so we need to make sure you know we need to focus on it so next uh goals the mission should be uh, convert to sporting objective at each level of management the mission leads to the setting the hierarchy of objective so when you set objective all your objective need to be business objective which is overall objective and marketing objective a company need to turn the mission into the detailed sporting objective so each man should be objective responsible for reaching them a broad uh, mission leads to the hierarchy of objective including the business because of course if you're increasing the market share it means you're increasing the profit of the company if you're because if you're minimizing the cost you're increasing the profit you need to bring more efficiencies ultimately if you're carrying your customer if you uh, listening them if the customer satisfaction will improve what will be happen by improving the customer satisfaction trust on your company your product ultimately people will buy more ultimately that will leads to the business objective which really your objective was as a mission statement you want to be exceed the customer values you want to be listen the customers needs and wants so always we need to look around as a marketing objective business portfolio what is meant by a collection of the businesses and the product that make up the company so you need to look around what make up the unilever anybody knows what is make up the unilever so if i'll show you the unilever product quickly unilever product are uh, so unless i'll share with you unilever product so these are all the unilever products almost everyone from us is using these brands so dove yes which is so blipton tea bag and various product in different part of the world so if uh if you go through the unilever website own website so you can see their image of unilever products so these are the all the unilever products so So these are all the Unilever brands. 
yes it's very powerful company while ice cream yes live boy so whatever we magnet a lot of people like and if you go second page third page they have a lot of brand yes so these are all the unilever so you can look around the unilever mission statement always it's good to be you find a company and think about mission statement of unilever so look there what their mission statement so guys let's you know you read it the mission statement is to add vitality of life we meet everyday needs for nutrition hygiene and personal care so they have a nutrition product they have a hygiene they have a personal care product it mean they have a cream they have uh, food and they have hygiene washing liquid stuff you know so these are the thing brand help people feel good so you need to think about when you use their product you feel good if you use the dove soap you feel good look good that make you look good because your face is washed well and the soap will provide you gain the heat and get more out of life is it help you when you look good and the other people like you that's you know you get more out of it so that's we need to be make sure that's you know we but uh, this convert this mission into the actual business okay so steps what we can do steps in the business portfolio plan in a live the firm trend portfolio develop the strategies for the growth and the downsizing and shape of the future like you know the unilever from five from 500 to 250 brand those are the key brand those were the last making unit will they just reduce them so then is if next slide in a live so you need analysis for the portfolio evaluation so how we can evaluate the product and the business the make up the company by management so first step we need to look at identify the strategic business unit sbu that's be used like you know if you think about the range rover rover how many are for let's think about the ford ford have so many different brand ford mondeo ford focus ford fiesta so each ford brand is called sbu strategic business unit you need to look around what they are giving what they are the satisfaction of the client so you need to be these are sbu you need to assess that Thinness of each view and decreasing how you support the purpose of the direct resources toward more profitable business. If Ford Mondeo is more growing, so we need to impact more resources because it's a more demand. Like no electric cars, we are making ordinary cars. We making electric cars. Electric cars is more demanding. So we need to look around. We need to put more resources because the government initiative toward the electric car, toward the global warming, and we we as a company need to be. So we need to convert it. okay anybody any question up to now guys any question feel free just you know carry on chatting in the chat uh, box so next we are looking bcg metric what is the bcg boston consultant group they gave the metric is called bcg metric star some product are the star is fast growing some product can be cash cow they giving lot of cash some product question mark those are in between the cash cow and the star so these can be convert towards the star or the cash cow some product can be they don't have a market share and they don't have any growth any further they because becoming outdated so what we can do we can rid of them and this is the quite good model in term of the product portfolio and we can look around so we need to be look around how we can focus and convert so next we can look around downsizing what is meant by downsizing downsizing is also known as a right sizing so downsizing is also known as a right sizing reduce the business portfolio by eliminating the product or the business unit that are not profitable are no longer fit with the company's overall strategy so we need to read up reason for downsizing rapid growth of the company lack of experience in the market change in the market environment decline decline the demand of the particular product so what you can the company must 
not only develop the strategy to growing their business portfolio, but also strategy to down sizing them when the firm find the business are unprofitable and no longer overall strategy because overall strategy we want to be it can be our west or can be divest so strategy harvest is mean you're investing more money and divest you're taking out money you're investing in other product so that's we need to be look around and you need to be look around the economics time how many firms and how much profit how much is the need of the people so all this we need to look around. Then next we look around the growth share metric, evaluate the company's SBUs, term of the market growth rate and relatively market share. We need to look around the difficult time consuming some product can be. So we need to make sure we earn the more uh, and we maximize the market share and we maximize the profit as well, not the mass market share. We can drop the price. We can offer free product to the people. People are happy to buy it and market share will go up, but the profit won't go up because it's cost us. So we need to look around difficult time as we use, focus on the classifying the current business, but providing little advice for the future planning. So all this we need to be focused and when then the marketing strategies, we can look around according to ones of metrics. Uh, and we need to look around. We need to make the marketing strategy. Sorry, existing product, existing market. So that's called market penetration strategies. You're not expanding it. You're just selling existing product in existing market. It means you're not going to increase your market share because your existing product in the existing market, if the population growing, they will maybe buy the more product because of course the need is there. So it can be others your strategies market development so new product into existing market you launching a new product uh, various companies launching different new products so that's it called market development in the existing market okay then other marketing strategy can be product development uh, product development strategies is based on um, new product in existing market are uh, diversification new product into the new market that's the totally new product like Tesco is uh, doing uh, selling more consumer product but another country can be investing in the property building so that is divest Okay, as I earlier mentioned, downsizing means the right sizing. Reduce the portfolio, eliminating the business units are not the profitable, no longer reason for the downsizing, rapid growth, and these are the reasons. Strategic planning, it provides the guide of the flossy marketing concept. The company strategy should be create a value for customer, but the profit relationship is the key customer. So always we need to look around, provide the input for the strategic planner help to the market opportunity and assess the potential and design strategy for reaching the unit objective. So value chain, what is the value chain? According to the model is called value chain model. We need to look around the primary and the secondary activity. So value chain is series of internal department that carried out the value creating activities. So firm success depend how well various department coordinate their activities. So marketers should be ensure all department are the customer focus and develop the smooth functions value chain like a customer service, like product design, like product uh, production, like packaging. All this we need to be because ultimately we want to be value in our product to meet the needs and the wants of the customer. So we need to look around the partnering with others so how we can make the partner like a supplier like our middle uh, in mid day trees the channel of distance, the value delivery network paid for the companies and the supplier is distributed its customer who partners with each other to improve the performance of an entire system we we have to look that's why it is undercover boss going and listening and exploring and making a plan Okay, next we look in the marketing strategy. When we'll make the marketing strategy, is the logic the company's hope to create the customer value to its profit and the relationship. Marketing mix. Okay, as a marketing student, we should be well aware of the marketing mix. I discussed with you the lesson one as well. 
marketing mix is product price promotion and place and now is we can look around the planning implementation and control is quite crucial and we need to be planned for it so what is meant by partnering with others internal value chain value chain their supplier value delivery network we need to marketing mix so why we marketing mix then we need to look around the segmentation segment it mean dividing the total market into the small segment to achieve the overall organization because we can't really need reach to the every customer we can segment the market into the small proportion according to the need so market segmentation dividing the market into the groups upper class lower class middle class different product for different group market segment group of consumer who respond in a similar way and the targeting so we can make the strategies for them we can target them evaluating each market attractiveness and which one is is it more one so we need to make sure so what basis we can segment we can geographic customer relation uh, location and regions demographic age gender occupation and social economics group and behavior we can look around wanting value for money rate of the usage benefits psychographic personality lifestyle attitudes and the classes in society okay so we need to make sure so just you know we need to make sure the positioning how we can position ourselves so positioning or ranging uh, for the product to occupy the clear distance to and desired place is relatively completing the product anybody any question why we because we need to really position ourselves into market differentiation the market is offering create the superior customer value we can differentiate according to the porter genetic strategy we can be cost leadership cost focus differentiation or differentiation focus so these are the porter generic strategy further we will go through in the further lesson so we can make the marketing strategies based on differentiation we are totally different then you can book online you can retrieve online you can check the progress of your order online if you have a complaint you can you have a refund policy and all sort of things you know come under because differentiation earlier mentioned marketing mix is a tool how we can mix to target an intended positioning of the customer product so product when in the marketing different variety of the product quality design features brand name packaging service thus we have to focus in the mixing the promotion advertising personal selling uh, public relation price list the price discount allowance payment period credit term place where you are selling the product you need to make sure you check your customer you make the strategies according to because ultimately marketing objective to be uh, satisfy the consumer needs and wants so this we need to make sure we can achieve our business objective our marketing objective through marketing mix you know the right mix okay so omit the emphasizing on the service so customer focus piece so we need to look around the needs including the packaging of the product the cn not charter the buyer perspective so we need to focus on customer solutions if customer have a problem we need to provide the solution for the problem customer cost then can the customer focus on the cost convenience how convenient that product is for the customer to buy it and return it if they want to be if they don't like it so we need to look around the communication what communication channel we are using the message we are delivering the right message or not to the customer and analysis we can look around the planning developing marketing plan and then implementation because if you plan something you don't implement it control of course control normally known as a corrective action may give result evaluate result and take the corrective action if you're not achieving you want to increase 10 per some market share but you not managed to why not is it our advertising were poor our product design were poor or the pricing strategy were not appropriate people not buy our product after sales service were not appropriate or 
and we don't have a right information and in market analysis so that's why we not manage to achieve it so control we need to make the corrective action we need to use the right channel and then we can plan again so then SWOT analysis for strength weaknesses and opportunities and threat so that's the internal environment so implied those are very trained and they have a knowledge about the that's the internal capabilities we have may help the company to reach its objective <clears throat> weakness we don't have a fund we don't have a knowledge we don't have a latest machinery we don't have a latest IT system so that can lead to the weakness so we can need to think about how we can overcome the weakness we need to think about opportunity is it population growing is it your economy growing so these are the advantages threat is it more company entering into market is creating a threat for our company like a steel industry Chinese company in the UK it's huge investment and reducing the steel price that can be a threat for us so if we don't focus on the cost what will be happen ultimately the customer will try to switch around so always business need face two types of environment internal environment which is known as a micro and external environment which is known as a macro so as a business we need to analyze both we need to focus the company the supplier marketing in metries competitors public and the customer okay five types of customer are uh, the market consumer market where the consumer product will sell business market where the business people buy the product for the business use reseller market where the goods buy from the business and resell it government market where the company sell product to the government international market where we're not selling to the domestic we are selling internationally so we need to look around the environment and uh, the major factors under the micro environment we need to look around demographic economic natural technological political and cultural thing if the culture is carry on chaining like think about in the window 98 cds if we are selling or uh, other because the technology is changing the software industry political economic social and technological factor we need to be focused like i mentioned in the previous lessons as well so I'm just you know skipping these please so we need to look around under political under economics under social and under technological so demographic study of the human population side density location age gender occupation how many people we have those have a degree how many people those are earning how many people in the job so all this we need to be look around and we need to launch the product accordingly economics environment we need to look around the industry of economies is it service industry is a developing economy is the chain in the consumer spending so what will we happen the nature of the environment so we need to look around environmental sustainability because a lot of focus our company need to make a strategy because if we are a company not good environment that will be bad press and ultimately that we're not going to meet the customer needs and wants technologically is it we have a new technology or if radio frequency identification codes which is you can trace it you can see you know where the product actually you can get the free sample as well you can track it where the parcel been and where being distributed so all we need to look around because the customer is really looking the technologies as well so we can't be sustained as a whole political you need to look around the political ideology of the company we need to protect the companies is it what's happened is it prioritization is it centralization so like labor manifesto and the conservative all need to protect the company from each other protect the consumer unfair protect the interests of the society and un send business behavior so all this we need to next we looking the porter five forces according to the michael porter one of the great scholar he wrote many books he gave many models so we are looking no porter five forces in academia in marketing is very popular concept porter five forces if as a company we need to focus on the five forces so thread of the new interest we have a thread of the new interest because the new company can in the perfect economic system uh where the new company have no restriction they can come and join so how we can uh, draw the barrier so we need to focus on the economies of scale product differentiation capital switching cost buyer and all government policies so these can be thread 
of new entrants and we can draw some barriers they won't enter into our determine of the supplier power we need to if it's only one supplier supplies you need to determine it how much because we need to dwell the close relationship if there are the many suppliers so supplier power will be less and ultimately as a company we need to be focused on it okay revivery of the existing firm or how much is a revivery how much is a competition how many new company is entering into market as well so we need to look around how we can draw the barriers how we can compete with them third substitute if there are the lot of substitute like apple iphone and hawaii we are various others so there are the separate software so we thread of the substitute same product different substitute you know if the price of one thing will go up People will switch from others to fulfill their needs and wants. So that's the thread of the substitute. Our people can copy your product as well. So how you can make sure? Because that's why that the company carry on chaining their logos, carry on chaining, uh, uh, adding the new ingredients or new benefits, you know, to to save themselves thread of substitute so determine of the buyer power the number of buyers in and how we can so we need to look around the, uh, how many buyer power are and uh, their buyer power will be more because they have a very strong especially in the uk buyer power is increasing because if the uh, the difference between the national minimum wage and the spending if that gap is increasing buyer power is reducing if is vice versa so we need to look around those as well so all these factor and their companies how we can draw the barriers it won't be happen okay anybody any question so guys we need to focus on the porter five next is the product life cycle according to various scholar they write the product life cycle every product have a life cycle it's not mean that product is forever so introductory stage some product at the introductory some goes at the growth some reach at the maturity some that decline like as a human being as well we have a life stages at the same product so if that product is a decline stage here in the other country in the international market it can be introductory stage here in the developed countries the, because the technology is early enter and early decline and in other country late enter and late decline so that can be create opportunity so we can look around those i copied the link if you want to be uh, read more and i copied the quiz for you as well those want what you can do guys just you know please make sure just copy this link and uh, just and go through the quiz about the porter five forces the link to the even the product life cycle as well and good to be understand the external environment my which we call micro environment so we need to make sure you know we'll carry on doing background reading because ultimately okay so develops good you know strong understanding about the concepts and then we'll apply in assignment these concepts okay so today lesson we learn about uh, our external environment we learn about smart objectives specific measurable we discuss external environment competitive environment we can draw the conclusion and the stakeholders internal stakeholder those people are working inside the organization stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is called stakeholders there is a different shareholders of the investor shareholder also called the stakeholder but not all the stakeholders are the shareholder so that is a key difference so we need to look around their interest their expectation and we need to fulfill our marketing plan need to be focused as well that's why a lot of emphasis on internal marketing within an organization if your own staff is not satisfied with the management with the firm how they will satisfy the external stakeholders so you need to be make sure to achieve the organization objective your smart objective you need to think about the stakeholders as well so that's all today lesson and today lesson we learn about lo2 which is learning outcome to anybody any question so if any question please feel free drop me email and uh, all these resources will be available online and hope so i will speak to you all by next week and have a nice weekend thank you bye bye